All right, friends, today we are going to dissect this creature, this beast, Canada's carnivorous plant, Saracenia purpurea. If the diagrams that I've seen are correct, what we're going to find in here is very mysterious. There are a bunch of trichomes at the base of this plant, and nobody knows why. It's been proposed in the past that their purpose is to trap organisms, but that doesn't really make sense. We'll talk about that more when we look at them, but look at oh, look at this. You can tell how this leaf develops. It's actually just a normal leaf that folds in on itself as it's growing, and it pinches off and forms this pitcher. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? But my last video was on the uh, the organisms that live inside this pitcher plant. Today we're going to dissect this guy, and we're going to look at a scientific mystery, a genuine scientific mystery. Take a look in there. Look down inside there. You can see the walls inside. They, they look smooth. So you've got these downward pointing teeth on the top, on the, on the hood. But inside the pitcher itself, it looks very smooth before we cut into it, right? I almost feel bad cutting into it. It's such a cool organism. Such a cool specimen. Do our little cut here. Nice. <laughs> it's it's a satisfying sound it makes. It's a cool, it's a really cool material. It's kind of, uh, I don't know how to describe it. Kind of spongy, maybe. Cutting into it. Okay, the big reveal. What do we have inside that? It's very smooth at the top, but look, look down. Zoom in here. Look at that. It looks almost like a stain down at the bottom. Very smooth here. There's. It's waxy to the feel, to the touch. There's a bunch of glands on there. Or, I guess I should say absorbent um, cell patches on there. That's It's on the smooth part that it absorbs nutrients. So you can kind of see the teeth on the top. They make the animals slide in. And again, remember the water fills all the way up to the brim. But down here, we have little hairs. Very fine little hairs down here. This region down here is called the detentive zone, where all these hairs are. Ugh, there's a midge. And if you look at old literature, people are suggesting that these hairs are for detaining insects. It's, that's why it's called the, the detentive zone. But it really doesn't make sense. Look, oh, look here. There we go. Look at all the gunk down there. That's a, it looks like a moth wing. It's a moth wing. All sorts of dead insects. All stuck in there. And look at that. It just it just ends kind of abruptly. That's gross. There's stuff that's alive in there. <laughs> Those are midge larvae that are alive in there. Little worm guys crawling around. Oh, that's gross. Pretty cool, though. So here's my question to you. What do you think these hairs are for? Because by the time an insect gets to them, they, they can't be for trapping and killing an insect because by the time an insect gets to them, they've already drowned their waterlogged. They drown at the surface. It's got these really smooth walls that they can't climb out of when they fall in. But the water is almost up at the lip. It's just slightly underneath the lip in the wild. So the bugs drown because they can't climb out. It's too slippery. So what do you think those hairs are for? Let's look at them under the microscope. So here I'm looking at the teeth on the top of the, the plant, the, the downward facing teeth. We've looked at these before. We looked at these in the first video. I think we looked at them again in the second video. The function of these has been written about a lot. It just makes bugs slip pretty easy. But here we have the hairs 
from the bottom, from the detentive zone. Again, it's it's been called the detentive zone, as if these hairs, the purpose of them is to detain insects that get trapped inside there. But of course, that can't be the case. They're already going to be dead. They're not going to be trying to escape. One possible function I was thinking of is that maybe this actually does detain dead bugs. So every once in a while, I'm sure that the bog will flood. And when it floods, you know, if, if water goes above the rim of the pitcher plants, then a lot of the stuff inside the pitcher could get lost in a flood. And that could be detrimental to the plant, right? And as we saw, there's a bunch of stuff stuck down here at the base in the hairs. So maybe the function of these is not to trap and kill insects, but it is to trap and hold corpses as they're slowly decaying in there in a way that's going to make it so that they cannot escape if there's a flood. They won't get washed away in a flood. So that's one thing I've been thinking of. Another possibility maybe is that just these little hairs, they add enough kind of fluff so that when all this gunk settles down on the bottom here, there's going to be little gaps, little gaps for water to flow through just through normal Brownian motion, just so that there's flow of water inside there. And maybe that little, little bit of flow of water would allow more decomposition. Maybe the bacteria can do their job better when there's flow. That way it doesn't just cement totally shut, right? But what do you think? I'm curious what you think the function of these hairs are, and I'm curious to know, if you were a scientist and you wanted to research this, what experiments would you do to figure out the true function of the detentive hairs in Saracenia purpurea? Let me know down in the comment section.